Greetings, members, one and all of the Salvation Nation. We are here. Hope everybody is doing well. It is uh, very, very close to the actual Christmas Day. Salvation very close. Nation, yes, somebody, oops. Sorry. Let me get to where I can see everybody. We've got this stream yard thing going on. So you see, as you can see in the in the upper right hand corner. But this seems to be the work the best. Hope everybody is doing well. Christmas time. Merry Christmas to you. Hello. We got uh, Silver Wolverine here. We've got DB Stupid, who was almost first, but good to see you, DB Stupid. Merry Christmas. Donald New Mexico was first, though. Hello, Donald. Welcome. Good to see you guys. All right. So we have a Christmas Eve broadcast. Let's take a look at the markets because the markets have been, well, for a Christmas Eve, they've been on fire. You know, usually it's everything's kind of uh, uh, really kind of low key on Christmas Eve. But before we do that, let me say hello to a few more people. We've got Bob the Monk. We got Coins A to Z and the lovely Pudenda Johnson is back with us. Hello, Pudenda. Good to see you. Missed you last time. Hope you're doing well. And point nine 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 zombies here. Merry Christmas to you. Big Rob in New Zealand. It's already Christmas in New Zealand. All right. Yes, indeed. All right. From the future. Very good. All right. Oh, man. Uh, so that's right. Silver Wolverine uh, will be working, getting that overtime on Christmas Day. Yes, indeed. Um, but, you know, hope you can find time to enjoy the, the holiday for sure. Calvin is here. Hello. Mm hmm. Yes. Uh, no, DB Stupid, it's not normal. Usually they kind of hover. They kind of just lay low. So this is kind of uh, unusual. Uh, very good. Let's uh, take a look. Right now, the uh, gold is up pretty substantially, $13.80, not quite 1%. But this is considered a pretty big move, I think, for um, precious metals, especially today. Even on a normal day, this would be something. But it has broke through on the ask price, that $1,500 mark, which is kind of a psychological level. And silver is the big winner of the day, as we talked about in the video earlier, and is up even more, $17.85. Uh, it's getting closer to that, at that $18 level. Platinum is a $947, almost a $950, and palladium is up $7. So there you go. Very interesting to see there. B. Demon sent in for her free gold back. Very good. All right. Awesome. Mm. Okay. Hello, Tucker. Hope everybody's having a safe and holidays. Yes, indeed. Nice. Metals on meth. Exactly right. So let's get into some of these comments. And we do have a scammer that has been aching. This scammer, this scammer actually uh, texted me earlier, and uh, I said we're gonna. I'll call you about seven o'clock on Christmas Eve. Fully expecting him to say no. Uh, I'm gonna be my family, but he's gonna be here, so we're gonna call him. We're gonna call them probably early, earlier than seven, because we're, we're kind of catching up on some comments here. But yeah, we're gonna make our way through. We're going to rock on down to Electric Avenue with the scammers. Yes, indeed. All right. Well, let's go through here. Uh, manipulators are on vacation. There you go, Steve Lee. That's right. We got um, Hi, Steve here. Merry Christmas Eve to you. Very good. Mm. Bitcoin Millionaire is waving to us. Hello, Bitcoin Millionaire. Good to see you. All right. Yes, indeed. We're getting closer here. Where was our last comment? I'm trying to keep up with comments today here on the channel. We're getting there. We're going to get down to it. We're going to get on down and groovy with the comments. Then we'll take a look at the markets. I believe once Behemoth enters the UK, we will have them in our grasp. I agree. That's right. They're going to be there on the 14th of January playing as soon as the dollar collapses. They're going to be on dollar collapse day. But it's going to be quite a behemoth. Yeah, of course, somebody will be talking about that, the dollar collapse, as, as Behemoth is on stage. You know, the audience isn't going to be too worried about uh, their music or what's going on because they'll be getting text alerts that uh, the dollar has collapsed. So I'm going to dispatch Stephen out to that concert to convert them to Christianity. Hello, Stephen. By the way, there is Stephen. Stephen Heath, the one and the only. Stephen with two threes. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas from Sheffield. 50 minutes until Christmas. Yes, indeed. All right. Very good to see him. Got to get used to the new name there, Stephen. Got to get even with Stephen Sheffield, Stephen Heath. The one and the only. All right. 
where are we at? Okay, let's get back into it. Let's get our boilerplate stuff here and get this cracking. We have got the silver bells are ringing today, says Stacking High. Yes, they sure are, my friend. The markets are ringing. The silver bells are ringing. Yes, indeed. All right. Yes, very good. Hey, Pudenda Johnson. Cool. Those crosses. Very good. Cool. Three crosses there. Yes, indeed. Awesome. Low blood pressure. It's a, it's a Christmas miracle. Every time a bell rings, the silver gets a rigging. There you go. All right. Low blood pressure. Very good. I think, is he in here with us? thought he was here earlier. Maybe not. All right. And Silver Taniwa is here. Merry Christmas from the future. That's right. We got his comment coming up here. We're going to try to get to it real quick because we see it in the chat, but we're going to also see it here in the comment section. Hi, Steve says, Merry Christmas, Salvation Nation. We have the president here. Yes, indeed. Hello, Mr. President with a thumbs up. Cliff uh, 2DK, I can't help it. I'm going to a few pawn shops today trying to score last minute deals. By the way, did the president see my video where I gave him a shout out? Not sure if he did. It's one with the President Trump in the uh, pro in the um, thumbnail picture. Merry Christmas, Sal, and all of the Salivation Nation. Thank you, Total Bullion. Merry Christmas to you, my friend. Yes, indeed. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Salivation Nation from Donald, New Mexico. Thank you, Donald. Blessings to you. Appreciate it, my friend. Very good. Fortunate Adventures. Hello, my friend. We are only one day away from Merry Christmas, and a new year is right around the corner. And it sure is. Time does fly. And for some people, like for Silver Tanawa, it is already Christmas. Thank you, Fortunate Adventures. Appreciate you. A little addendum here. Happy New Year. Thank you, Donald. Happy New Year to you too, my friend. Yes, indeed. Appreciate that. Robert Peterson says, can't tell, you were told. Said after December 15th through the least of January, you were also given the dates in the summer rally of medals about 30 days prior to the move. Also said the call options for 40,000 are locked, remember? Hmm, cheerleaders forever and last always remember the people are idiots. Yeah, I'm not sure I may have missed something, but yeah, I know I cover a lot of people making predictions. So yes, indeed, all right. Trump said, Sal, you are huge. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, moving on up here, we've got uh, Centuria Sylvia sold 300 ounces of American Silver Eagles. Myself, good riddance. Wow, congratulations. I hope you sold it uh, when the metal started going up there. Hello, Edwin. Merry Christmas to you, Edwin. Uh, Christian Black, uh, MTRL, little Z. Yeah, Gold back up to $15 U.S. I think it meant $1,500, but thank you. Yes, it's pretty cool to see it up. Jonathan Davis says, I'm not happy. I want the price to stay suppressed till spring. I need to buy more. I know what you mean. I'd like to buy some more, too. I like to wait it out. Very good. Okay, let's see here. Part-time preppers. Overall, it's been a fairly interesting year. Merry Christmas to you and to the nation. Thank you, part-time preppers. I appreciate you, my friend. Merry Christmas to you. Worthless video, disgusting, fake human, says Alan Gold. Who actually sent me his first email. I've got it on record. Believe it or not, Alan Gold sent me an email. Believe it or not. All right, let's see here. All right. Silver Britches says, could the move be because of the January 14th conspiracy? I don't think so. I think that was basically made up by that one channel. I've not seen anybody else talk about it. Uh, but uh, good good question, though. So Billy Prepping says, I knew silver would go up because I will have the money to buy more next week. That's right. Yeah, I know. That's what happens. Salivates law, they call it. Fortune, we, uh, yes, indeed, we're one day away, and the new year is right around the corner. That's right, Fortune Adventures on my scam, my call to the scammer. Stay tuned, guys. We're going to try to uh, to get some more here. Let's see here. Sal says, Chief Lechitan, you know what happens when you speak too soon about PM prices. You jinx us. Yeah. So who knows? They may crash tomorrow, you know, or the markets will be closed. I'm not sure if the Asian markets will be closed, but we'll find out. Hmm. Silver to Iowa uh, mentioned the um, the new um, the round trip. Well, it is now in the hands of Lady Bullion, who is premiering her video right now as I post this live stream. So you guys, when you're done here, check out Lady Bullion's channel for her uh, for the Salivate Metal round journey that she'll be taking. Very good. Good news all around. Merry Christmas to you, Sal. Merry Christmas to you, Eric. Yes, indeed. Thank you, sir. All right. So let's hear. Uh, 
Silver Turtle 65, good news indeed. Hopefully prices will continue up. Merry Christmas, Sal. Merry Christmas to you too, Silver Turtle. Appreciate you. Yes, indeed. Good, good guy right there. Saxon Stacker, don't like high spot. I don't either. I want to, I want it low so I can buy more. Uh, really. But uh, let's see here. All right, Nigel Woods. Yeah, um, uh, I've posted a lot of videos about platinum. So if you go to my videos, go to my channel and search my videos for platinum, you'll see the different takes and some of the more recent videos that have talked about it. But I do think it's undervalued. And uh, we're seeing it to start to go up a little bit for sure. Yes, and I also have some platinum. I plan on buying some more next year. All right, Chuck and Plata says, hey, Sal, a slurp, a slurp, a cookie crunch, maybe a push up or two. Unique characteristic of our, of our beloved gratitude for all you do. Blessings given and received reciprocal. We know uh, that it's true to all family, friends, and loved ones, and kitties, and Merry Christmas to you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Chuck and Plata, Merry Christmas to you, my friend. All right, glad to have you as a viewer. You're awesome. Okay. Coins and Z says, precious metals could go much, much, much higher based on past performance and the possibility of a major shift in sentiment away from artificially elevated equity market and the fiat currencies market. I'm still very bullish on platinum. Yes, indeed. And it seems like that the, even cryptocurrencies have kind of, kind of, um, you know, leveled out to a degree. There's not that excitement there that we once saw. Have a Merry Christmas, says Walt 2T. Thank you, sir. Good to see you. Been a while. I hope you have a Merry Christmas as well. Tomoko's Enterprise says, you, sir, keep me entertained, old friend. All the very best to you and yours. Onward to 2020. Yes, thank you, sir. Merry Christmas, indeed. Hope you enjoyed that scammer. Uh, makes silver Christmas dreams come true. Hello, Harvey. Merry Christmas to you. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. No cookies today, Silver Taniwa. Um, or Taniwa. I'm not for sure exactly how to pronounce that, but um, no cookies right now. I've actually been snacking on a little bit of sweets earlier, so I'm kind of holding back, trying to be good. I have very few of those cookies from CCT. Um, and uh, yeah, so anyways, but hopefully we'll get to that. All right. John Smith says, guys, who knows what next year will bring for the time being, for the holidays, just enjoy friends and family over a good meal or two. And that's is is that's what's really important. Merry Christmas. That's right. Exactly. Yes, indeed. Friends and family are important for sure. Yes, indeed. Over the Christmas holidays. All right. Here's here Silver Taniwa. Sal, it's Christmas Day here in New Zealand. So Merry Christmas to you from the future. Chura or Chuhu and Stack on Brother. Yes, indeed. It is. Thank you, Silver Taniwa. Appreciate it. Merry Christmas to you. The WH is pronounced F. Uh, Tanifa. Tanifa. Okay. Wow. That's interesting. I've never heard that. That is wild. I'll probably forget that. Silver Tanifa. Interesting. All right. From New Zealand. All right. William Bug is here. Time for a ride. Silver Tanifa. I like that. Uh, Ike Bobby, Merry Christmas from Italy. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas, Silver Wolverine. I never got excited about cryptos. Never bought a fraction of a crypto of any form. I've got a little bit, but it's kind of hovering there. You know what I mean? It's just kind of hovering around. But yeah, I never really got into it either. It's something about the tangible, the physical, you know, the gold. You can touch it, feel it. I'm a handsy kind of guy. You know what I mean? You see, I'm a handsy kind of guy. Good thing Pudenda is not here physically. You know what I mean? So, but anyways, all right, very good. Uh, Alex Mills says, by the way, I've got some mistletoe hanging around here, Pudenda. All right, Alex Mills is crying, but he's not crying over spilt milk. He is crying over the price is going up because he wants to buy more. I know that feeling. Like number 103 says, Hidden Coin Channel. Thank you so much. All right, hello, Silver Stanger. Good to see you. All right, yes, welcome. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to Mark B, who is here now, too. Down in New Mexico says, LOL, colonic. He's laughing at colonic. I'm glad that Pudenda Johnson is a moderator to balance the left wing down in New Mexico. Yes, indeed. Uh, did I get a... Um, um, uh, let's see. Okay, so colonic stacker says above. The behemoth drummer has been timed at an astounding 290 beats per minute, That, which is 287 more than tall Mars already just came up below. That's right. Ah, uh, yes, indeed. He's did those blast beats like crazy. There's another guy I saw do uh, a gravity blast without the gravity part of it. It's pretty crazy. 
Uh, Donald is the James Comey of the Salivation Nation. Oh, my goodness. Nuclear crypto. Do you ever hear from Silverfish VT anymore? I posted a video about uh, Silverfish VT quite some time ago. I have not heard from him lately, but he has been known to pop in from time to time. Uh, but it's been quite a while since he's popped in at all. You used to see his comments from here and there, but he is definitely done with YouTube. But I'll tell you what, I've gone back and watched some of his older videos, and um, the guy was a is a gem and uh, a wonderful uh, positive force in the community for sure. Um, he certainly has missed every single day. And uh, so, uh, yes, indeed. Um, he's got a legacy that still lives on in his channel um, and the people he's influenced. And I am uh, definitely proud to have... Uh, uh, call him a friend, although I have not talked to him in quite some time, but Silverfish VT, great guy, definitely. And uh, he is part of what I think, uh, he's what I call the grandfather of the modern, of uh, the precious metals community here on YouTube. I kind of look at it in several different generations, and he's kind of the grandfather of it. All right. A Christmas slurp for over here. Here we go. Barbara Carbone won't be able to hear because she's out with family today. But here we go. A Christmas slurp. Mm, let's see. Hopefully it'll it'll get some juices flowing for Pudenda. But who knows? Maybe not. Let's see here. Ah, ho ho ho! Says so Jeff Salcero, and a Merry Christmas to Silver Honda, who was here, and he drives a blue Honda. I just smelled this copper brass coin here. I'm going to flip it, flip it, flip it. Ooh, what the thing hit my mic? Son of a minimalistic plastic stacker. Silver prices are low, yet no one bought. Prices go up, and now stackers hope it falls. I know. And isn't that crazy? A millennial plastic stacker, that's the nature of the beast, is it not? It's called FOMO. That's right. It's an, and, and people who get excited, who get stimulated by that in their loins, they're called FOMO sexuals. That's right. Exactly right. All right, let's see here. Okay, Ninja Stacking says, you said it right. The trend is your friend till the end. If you're trading, you have to understand the risk reward. MACD, Elliott, Wave, and other indicators are tools to help predict where the price goes. But the truth is nobody knows for certain. If you're stacking um, physical precious metals, just dollar cost average to keep stacking. Sage advice, Ninja Stacking, exactly right. Well said, indeed. All right, Silver Tanika. Tanifa, I'm going to have to remember that WH is going to throw me off till the end of time. It must be some tribal thing uh, from the natives in um, in uh, in um, New Zealand there. I don't know. All right. William Brooken Road, Celebrate Middle 2020. Yes, indeed. So far, I don't have to wear glasses yet. So I've got 2020 vision. Hello, all is one now. Ho, ho, ho. Hi, all. Hello, my friend. Good to see you. Hmm. Ford FOMO, Ford Motor, Motor, Ford Motor Company. Yes, indeed. FOMO, FOMO. Don, Jonathan Davis, silver needs to go back down to $16 an ounce till March. I was planning on doubling my stack till then. If it all goes up much more, I won't be able to do that, but I'm about to watch a Jesus cartoon with my kids. Well, hey, you know what? Since you're the lead singer for uh, Corn, you know, you can probably make that happen is my guess. But enjoy the cartoon and Merry Christmas to you. And Jonathan Davis, you got your um, head on straight, pun intended there, guitar player head, um, and um, because Jesus is the reason for the season. Very good, indeed. All right, all right. Let's see here. Monster boxes have increased $374 in 42 days. I bought mine in 1670 in October the 12th. Cost was $9,305, now selling for $10,668.50. Dude, nicely done, Joseph. That is awesome. I'd love to have a monster box. That would be cool. I mean, a monster box full of silver eagles. I've got a monster box. I just don't have anything in them. All right. All right, where are we at? Chris, one, two, three, four says, look at the paper to silver to gold ratios and the debt clock. Next, look at the same numbers when changing the year to 2023. Does this bode well for gold to silver ratio narrowing? Hmm. have to check that out. Wow. But it's a prediction. Sometimes these predictions aren't necessarily the thing to, to be. Patrick Huge, the Anzac Spirit 100th Anniversary Coin Series is a sleeper series. Yes, what could be? All right. In honor of Jesus' birth, Kalonic Stacker is suspending his attacks on Donald in New Mexico. 
That means it should mean a lot to you, Donald, New Mexico, especially if you know Kal uh, Kalanick's background there or his affiliation there. All right. Mm. Here we go. Hey, full push medals has just tuned in for another slurp. Very cool. Thank you so much, my friend. Check out Fush, Full Push Metals. He's been showing some cool videos uh, of him in his work environment, some tight spaces, totally pushing it up. Some of that insulation. Yes, indeed. All right. Silver Wolverine loves watching old YouTube videos, including yours and Silverfish VT. It's a shame that old video don't get the love they should. Every view now and then. Yes, I know. I hear you. Once in a while, I'll get some people, but not too many people watch the old stuff. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. Appreciate you doing that. All right. Ho, ho, ho from Tricky Guy. Uh, all is one now. Good to see Tricky Guy. Welcome, my friend. All right. Yes, indeed. Yeah, Full Push Metals is a hard worker. Does it well. He knows how to do it. Very good. Nice. Merry Christmas to you. Over here it says Mario of Monaco 64. A few days ago had said the silver was looking very bullish. Showed charts referred to the head and the shoulder movement in the graph. All right. The only head and shoulders that I like to participate in, I don't do anymore because it hurts, burns my eyes. That shampoo, heads and shoulders, when it gets in your eyes, it hoits big time. So I stay away from the head and shoulders movement. All right. Over here. You hear me. You know what I'm saying? Over here, here's me slurping loud and clear. By the way, we've been having some issues with my connectivity um, with the audio, so you let me know if it goes out. But so far, we've not had any issues, so that's good. But I will be hopefully getting some um, a new computer. Hey, Cliff, Cliff 30K, dude. Thank you so much, my friend. Look at that. I like that new avatar there. Appreciate that, man. Uh, nice. 1999 Super Chat. Very kind of you, sir, Cliff. Man, so kind of you. Very nice. So cool. All right. Shampoo upside down. There's Bob Often has got the trick. That's the way to do it. Shampoo upside down. That way it won't get in my eyes. All right. Optimus Locus. When I started stacking in July of this year, silver to me has been confused. My first silver cost me $15.60 an ounce. And as of today, only increased just over $2 an ounce, in which in the larger picture isn't a whole lot. Also, these writers have been saying the same thing about silver breaking coming. It's all speculation. I want to pay attention when it hits $25. Yes. No, I hear you. Be skeptical and see where it goes. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's one of those things. Uh, not meant for your eyebrows. There you go. Okay. Thank you, Silver Tanifa. <laughs> Tanifa. Silver Tanifa. Yes, indeed. Yes. Thank you again, Cliff. Very kind of you. Native Stacker. Merry Christmas. Give all your silver to Native Stack, our new tradition. All right. Very good. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I couldn't do spot price uh, of one ounce you owe me. That's right. Well, Cliff, technically, uh, YouTube takes 30% of the super chats. So you've actually given me under spot. So, <laughs> so no, nah, I'm just teasing you, my friend. Well, I'm not teasing about YouTube taking it. But, uh, but thank you again for that. I appreciate that. Very good. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. All right. Where are we at? Uh, Richard C. says, only stacking gold for 2020, then in 2030, platinum and palladium. All right. Okay. Well, hopefully palladium will be a more affordable price by then, but thank you, Richard C. Gold going up by the dollar, silver going up by the cents. Uh, that's true, but you think about it, a move in 25 cents in silver is much bigger than a, than a uh, $5 move in gold. Uh, yes, indeed. Okay. All right. Bullion Bug bought his own Christmas present. A quarter ounce of gold with 10% eBay bucks back. Makes it gold under spot. Well done, Bullion Bug. That is awesome. Very cool. All right, Silver Ten Tanifa. Got to run. My daughter has arrived. So time for Prezi. Merry Christmas to you from the future. Yes, thank you, Silver T Tanifa, I got to remember the F in there. So much. Have a good one. Thank you so much for stopping by. Tell everybody that I said Merry Christmas, even to strangers on the street. Tell them Sal says Merry Christmas. Boom. Fist bump. Later. Take it easy. All right. All right. J. 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 Ruona says usually gold goes up during Christmas because people buy gold jewelry for gifts on Christmas. Yeah, but the markets don't typically reflect that because that's gold that's already been accounted for out in the marketplace. Um, 
unless there's you you won't really won't see that until you see the demand for gold and jewelry um uh, from the manufacturers but they've already taken that in in other words it's already baked in all right let's see here we're good hello talking bullion is here talking bullion hello my friend merry christmas to you sir yes indeed welcome 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 one and all all right very kind let's see here as we move on up here we've got john allen india like gold for marriages etc except this year you're not seeing as much gold go because of their taxing it high you're seeing silver being increased john allen i've actually talked about that too glockman 155 thank you so much my friend so do you I appreciate you being here glockman all right welcome good to see you merry christmas all right thank you talking bullion all right moving ahead metal bum greetings merry christmas eve christmas tree thank you metal bum you're awesome thank you very much Marshall Health, happy holidays, Sal. May all you stackers have a fantastic 2020. Marshall Health, thank you so much, my friend. Dude, you've got to check out Marshall Health's channel uh, for overall uh, wellness and self-defense techniques. Check out Marshall Health. He also reviews knives and does coin reviews as well. A great channel and a great guy. Very cool. Nice. All right. Uh, tricky guy. If Sal slurps in the woods and there's no barb around, does Sal actually... Merely, <laughs> oh boy. Well, hey, um, I don't know. Doctor Who is here. Whoa, guys, Doctor Who, we've not seen. I was just thinking about Doctor Who yesterday, wondering how he was doing and where he was at. So, so good to see Doctor Who. I hope you're doing well, my friend. Yes, Doctor Who, you've made my day being here. I hope you're doing okay. Nice to see you, J. Mike. What do you all think about Goldbacks? J. Mike, I just posted a video. Uh, a couple days ago, or, yeah, about two days ago on the gold back. Uh, check it out. I actually show one in hand that I got. And also Spectacular posted a video about the gold back as well, too. And he just popped in here. Reza, Reza said that I cannot say that word. I cannot say that word, tricky guy, but I can say tricky guy. Yes, indeed. Dr. Who, Merry Christmas. Yes, indeed. Dr. Whom? Oh, yeah, it's Dr. Whom. That's the correct language. Okay, moving on up. Debbie from Albuquerque, New Mexico. It's at um, Silver's at 1786. She's giving us a market update. She bought some Cole Morgans and some uh, icons of Route 66, New Mexico in perfect shape from Atmex. Very cool. The first on Black Friday, Silver was 1708, and the second on Cyber Monday. Nice. I've hesitated to buy more since then and have other bills to pay this month. So sometimes one can manage to buy the dip, even if it wasn't that dippy this time. Very good compared to July 2019. Well, you're being a frugal there. That's good to be um, uh, fiscally responsible. Don't buy above your means. But if you can buy when they're when it's low, you can feel better when the prices go up for the purchase you've made. So congratulations on that. All right. Okay, where are we at? Christmas smash the likey. Yes, indeed. 60, smash your thumbs, people. That's right. We got 28 thumbs up, 65 watching. Appreciate all you guys. A right, special Christmas MMA matchup, the three wise men versus disgraced former Attorney General Eric Holder, convicted murderer Carl Childers, and MSNBC host Rachel Maddow. Well, I tell you what, even though uh, Carl Childers was a convicted murderer, I would probably put him in, in better company than former Attorney General Holder and definitely better than um, um, the kid from the Wonder Years. Um, what was the kid's name from the Wonder Years? Oh, uh, Kevin from the Wonder Years, which is what Rachel Maddow looks like. But I'm still going to have to go with the three wise men. Going to go with the three wise men. Yes, indeed. On that one, that's a triple tag team threat match. Three wise men, even with their robes, they can just slam them all, including Carl Childers. I got to hate to say it. Mm. I don't reckon I want to go up to some of them wise men. Mm. They're pretty wise, and I heard they make some good biscuits, too. Mm -hmm. I got me some biscuits and some gold, a little frankincense and some myrrh and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I imagine if you stay tuned to this channel here, you might see the wise men tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Even if you're Jewish, you might want to see the wise men handing all their goodies to the little baby Jesus. Mm -hmm. They're pretty wise, the men are. Mm -hmm. All right, then. 
All right, Bill, four, four, five, seven. what's going on? Something is, I've been seeing a lot of gold-plated notes out there, plus the 100-gram Swiss bars that will fit in your wallet. Now I bet Switzerland will be first. Yes, indeed. So this is that video, whoever said in the chat here about um, the, it's called how to get free gold that can be spent, gold back, hashtag gold back. And Spectacular posted a video about it. There's several others. And then just stacking did too, uh, about a week ago, if I'm not mistaken, a week or two ago. <clears throat> All right. Where are we at? Mr. Octopus, multitude of Christmas dude, everybody, except Alan. There you go. <clears throat> yes, indeed. We have to make sure we accept him out. All right. Hey, SJ's Mixed Adventures is here. Hello. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas to you. Welcome. Yes, indeed. Hello, SJ. Mixed Adventures. Very good. All right. And by the way, since we're on this uh, yard stream, I might see if I can send an invite out. See how this works. I'm going to try this here. I'm going to try it now just to see. We're going to try to do an invite. I've never done this before. We're going to try it now. Uh, let's see here. Copy this. Here it is. Here it is. All right. So anybody wants to pop in, let's give this a shot. All right. And see what happens here. I don't know. We'll see. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Never done this before with StreamYard, so bear with me if it doesn't work right. If somebody wants to pop in on that son of a biscuit, well, we'll see. All right, Bill457, Admex says that note for 364 The price is low, but more than a dollar again. If the metal value is worth more, then the monetary, monetary, model will, monetary metal will not work. Yeah, that's right. Somebody was telling me that it's all good and that they will accept it. Won't work, Sal. Yeah, you might have to be on a computer. I don't think it'll work from a phone, but um, the doctor who wasn't able to get it to work, or maybe it just won't work. I don't know. We'll see. I, I don't know. I'm kind of watching this to see if it'll if it'll show up if somebody pops in. I'm kind of curious just from the from the curiosity side. You know what I mean? I guess that's how curiosity works. Curiosity works when you're curious. Sarah Helton, is this it? Buckle up. Yes, indeed. We'll see, Sarah. We shall see. I don't know. I don't think this is it, though. I think we might see prices work back down, uh, but we'll see. Merry Christmas for each and every stacker, wherever you are. Yes, thank you, Rami. Yes, Merry Christmas to all the stackers and collectors out there, too. All right. Browser won't work for me unless I install Google Play. Oh, that's weird. Hmm, Okay. Uh, is any, I guess there's not many people in here that usually go to live streams, so it may not, uh, it may not work. Graham Stacker, I agree, Sal. I think we'll see $20 silver in 2020. Hope so, at least. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, sir. <clears throat> All right. I heard my voice doing Carl Childers, man. I should have heard my voice doing my normal voice, but I didn't. Hmm. Talking Bullion's going to try it. Okay, thanks, Talking Bullion. Silver Wolverine's here. All right, let me see if I can add him to the stream and see what happens. Silver Wolverine, are you here? Silver Wolverine, if you're here, clap nine times. All right, we don't hear Silver Wolverine. He's added to this thing, but we don't. All right, Silver Wolverine, all right. If you're here, say, I am here, Sal. If you're not here, Silver Wolverine, say, tell everybody you're not here if you're not here, okay? All right, no, nothing, no news there. So that means there's a chance he's here. Since he didn't tell everybody that he's not here, that means there's still a possibility that he's here, or he's just incredibly shy. He just muted himself. Now he's unmuted himself. It's a mutiny for Silver Wolverine. Maybe if we all sing the uh, the Silver Wolverine song, he'll come. Uh, he'll actually say something and not be so shy. Because he's so shy. Super Wolverine's like one in a million. He's so shy. Oh, wrong song. Mark B is here, by the way. So let's get it. Because we know where we all live. All of us, everybody right here, we all live in. We all live in a silver Wolverine. A silver Wolverine. A silver Wolverine. We all live in a silver Wolverine. Alan Gold, stop being mean in a silver Wolverine. Okay, all right, so he doesn't want me to get... Talking Bullion is here. All right, this is actually much better than the other the other thing. Talking Bullion will say something. He's not going to be shy. Are you, Talking Bullion? 
What's going on, Salivate? Hey, he's here. He's talking. All right. Talk. You know how, oh, yeah, knows how to talk. Do you know how to sing in harmony? I do not. Well, do you want to uh, pretend? No, I don't. Somebody okay. actually gave me money last night to sing, and I still didn't do it. All right. All right. <laughs> wow. But I, can you I hear me now? Money. Now we can hear Silver Wolverine. All right, Silver Wolverine is here, and and now Silver Wolverine is going to give us a, a solo song. He's going to sing in two octaves up a Mariah Carey song. Go for it, Silver Wolverine. It's all, all right. you. A Mariah Carey song. Yeah. Right <laughs> He's like, what? What the heck? <laughs> all right. Good to see you both. Thank you. This is this StreamYard actually is pretty efficient software. I, I like it, except for that logo up there. I guess if I paid a monthly fee and I'm a cheapskate when it comes that kind of thing. Me too. Oh, I think once I get the new computer, I'll go back to OBS and it'll be it'll be all good in the neighborhood. But uh yeah. So what do y'all think? Should I call a scammer and you should have some fun with him? What do you think, Silver Wolverine? Why not? All right, let's do it. Yeah. This guy is Andre, and he's not a giant. And I've already used that joke with him before about him being Andre the Giant or related thereof. But uh, let's see here. Uh, where are we at? We are going to find his number. Here's what he says here. Wait, this is the wrong one. He goes, hey, Richard, good morning, Christmas Eve shoot you this text to confirm our appointment at seven this evening are you good for that to go for that and i said hands up don't shoot hans uh seven this eve it is so he's hans he might we might make him hans the bad guy from uh um die hard what do you think <laughs> anybody seen die hard Yeah, Die Hard's a classic. It's been a, long, it's been a long time since I've seen a Die Hard movie. Oh, it's Die Hard is the ultimate Christmas movie, is it not? All right, SJ's Mixed Adventures, last minute running around. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Yes, indeed. All right, it's payback time. All right, here we go. So let's call up Andre. Here we go. Andre, Andre, Andre. Calling up Andre. While I tried to connect you. Oh boy. Now I'm going to get a copyright strike for this on home music, which means I usually play guitar to it. But uh, boy, this is not good. This is, oh my goodness gracious. Oh man. I got to talk so fast over this stuff while it goes because then I'll get a copyright strike. Copyright strike, even though this is just regular music, I can play guitar over it, which I usually do play guitar over it. I'm going to do that. I'm going to play guitar over it. Thank you for holding. Oh. Reply from open phone two is testing please. To repeat the message, press 1. Oh, he wants to text. Voicemail, press 2. To reply with a yes, press 3. To reply with a no, press 4. To reply with urgent, please call immediately, press 5. To disconnect, enter right. the urgent phone number where you can be reached, and then press pound. Enter the urgent phone number where you can be reached, and then press pound. No, I've got to get my guitar first. All right, here we go. Let me get my guitar. Enter the urgent phone number where you can be reached, and then press pound. Ah, I don't want him to call me. I'm going to hang up and call him back. All right, we're going to, we're going to, this is going to probably be a uh, copy written, but I think I can remove this with the new thing, but we're going to, we're going to play with this on hold music because this is just too much fun to pass up. I don't know, Sal. With as many people that use it, it's probably not copyright. It's probably... I've got a copyright struck on it before, believe it or not. Oh, have you? Oh. Hello? Hello? Andre. Yes, sir. Hello, Andre. Can you speak up a lot? It's very hard to hear you. and I'm going to try to get this loan for my business here. How you doing, my friend? Merry, Merry Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas Eve. Yes, indeed. Now, so how much, how much, how much do you need? Um, I'd like to have Andre. It's very hard to hear you. Can you please uh, either speak a little louder or a lot louder, or put the the phone really close to your mouth? Don't be afraid to get close to that. That's better. Yes, Andre. Don't be afraid to get close to the phone. It won't hurt you. Of course. Uh, I love that all. On. Oh yeah, this is my guitar, and I've got a. Uh, and the guitar is part of the reason why I'm calling you for this loan. 
Okay. See, Andre, I'm, I'm a guitar string manufacturer, and I want to start a revolutionary new thing for Christmas 2020. That's one year from tomorrow. I want to be able to submit my idea of uh, silver-coated guitar strings that will not only sound great and sound solid, so when the spot prices go up, down, sideways, but it will also keep your hands nice and clean. And it might even help you make a play better, too. Okay, interesting. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so this these silver guitar strings, I think, will be revolutionary in the music world, and we're going to need a lot of silver for it. So I'm going to need to procure fundage to, um, uh, to find a way to break into First Majestic, I mean, to buy some silver direct from First Majestic Mining out of Mexico. Okay. So what do you think of that? Do you think of that idea? Can you help me make that happen? What's what's? Are you typing something? Or are you wrapping? Yeah, are you wrapping Christmas? It sounds like either that or wrapping Christmas presents. I can't decide which. It's not Christmas time. It's Christmas time. Oh yeah. Anthony, uh, first things first. Do you have any other ones? What now? You said first thing is first. Which is kind of strange yeah, because I've yeah. always thought the first was last and the last was first. But you're saying that first thing is first, right? Yep. Okay. So, do you have any do you have any loans right now? Are you currently paying off? I am an owner of a lonely heart, but other than that, I have no other loans, outstanding loans. <laughs> All right. Um so this is pretty simple. I take it we're gonna go the unsecured route. Um, oh, I, we can make this as secured as possible. I don't want anybody else getting this money, just me. No, collateralized. Are you colonicized? Colonic? No, not, nothing with the colon is related to this. No co colon, you know, nothing related to the colon. I want to make this a secured loan as far away from the colon as possible. I mean, it's Christmas. You know what I'm saying, Andre? Uh, of course. Um, so how much do you need at a minimum? Well, in order to get the silver for these silver guitar strings, I'm going to need about um, 7,000 ounces for the first run of production. We're going to make a lot of guitar strings. And because uh, each set of strings of six guitar strings are going to take um, uh, probably approximately uh, two grams of silver for the coating. So you multiply that by the multiple strings we're going to be doing for Diodario or G uh, Diodario Guitar String Company. That's a lot of strings. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Going by the spot price of silver, that's what, 100 grand even? Uh, what do you think the spot price of silver is per ounce right now? Take a guess. 15 or 17, something like that. $17, and it's close to $18 now. Christmas Eve has taken a big hit upwards. It's been nuts. Somebody's been full pushing those silver prices, you know what I mean? They've been pushing it hard, those silver prices. It's almost like, like insulation. And then when you spray insulation on, between the rafters and the roof, in tight spots, it's like that kind of pushing for these silver prices. It's insane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's up a little bit. So which means we're gonna need more money. We're gonna need more. We're gonna need you know seven thousand ounces of silver. So seven thousand times seventeen uh, eighty some. What is that? Let, let's do the math on that for a minute, Andre. Let's see here. Seven thousand times. Seventeen point. 17.8, hold on a second, let me do my math. 125, 124,600, let's just do $125,000. Okay. No strings attached, so, that's right, Le Petit Silver, that's right, no strings. Can we make that no strings attached, even though we're gonna attach the silver to the strings, right. Amen. Uh, so look, Anthony, real simple application here. Um, all I need is a completed application from you. It's you know, mandatory, done your legs. And then for this kind of money, we like to see, you know, six months of your previous business bank account statements. Do you own property? Oh, yes, yes. I own property. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we can get, get you some of those bank statements. And I, hey, if this goes over well, Andre, we're going to move to doing this to base strings. We're talking about 
five string bass that low b string that's going to take a lot of freaking silver you know what i mean it's going to be it's going to be awesome amen so yeah let's start with the starters guitar i think this is going to be great do you have any contracts lined up for this uh yeah first uh, majestic what, what kind of fade is it in this? um i could probably get some from first majestic maybe mike maloney maybe david morgan will, will get me a little bit Probably get it through Atmex or one of the big one of the big retailers. I might even get a other um, potentially. I could get a full contract through the Comex to get these things, which would be pretty sweet. You know what I mean? Okay. The Comex, the Comex yeah. That's right with the, the brokers. Market? That's that's the big brokers. The mercantile exchange. Yeah, exactly for the mercantile exchange. Yeah. Oh. Which, by the way, any of those places, any of the lackeys that work there could still play drums better than Lars Ulrich. There's no question about that. All right. Oh, I have a pretty decent picture here. At least over there. Oh, what kind of picture do you have? I mean, you said it's decent. Can you describe the picture? Is it art that you hang on your wall? Yeah, so you look, you take the silver, you need quite a lot to manufacture quite a bit of strings. So. Right. Can you make that into a painting? Can you make... You want to be a partner with me on this, uh, on this, Andre? Because I think, Andre, if we go in this together, I think we can make a lot of money together. You can quit your job and all that jazz. I don't know about all that, but I'm definitely looking to be a part of this, and it make sense. Um, so, we'll put, Anthony, what's your email so I can go ahead and send you the application? It is, it is Silver String LTD. That's limited. Oh, that's pretty quick typing. That sounds like the fruit three round burst of an of an M4 uh, rifle. That was pretty cool. It's like do, 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 do that again. Do, 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 do. So that's cool. All right. And um, uh, uh, forty seven at CompuServe dot net. At CompuServe. Yeah. Dot net. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Yes, right, so I've got silver strings, plural strings, LTD four seven at CompuServe. You got it. You got it. CompuServe. Uh, C O M P U R R S E R V E. Yeah, that's it. CompuServe. It's an up and coming oh, ISP. By the way, I've got some other people listening in on the line here that are part of the uh, the business venture. Uh, they've been. Uh, they're welcome to chime in if they'd like to about some of this adventure. Uh, but they're uh, they're they're part of the they're part of the thing. If I say something stupid, they're there to track it and then um and then share it with the media and then impeach me if I say something too off the wall. <laughs> Did you know you're speaking with the with the Ukrainian right now? Oh man, I did not know that. I, well, I got to be very careful with oh. what I say. This is a party line. Yes, indeed. So any of you guys want to chime in here? All I know is if this deal goes through, I'm going to buy at least one set of strings. You're going to buy a set of strings? At least one. Probably yeah. a couple. So there you go. You've already got somebody who's very excited about this, Andre. He's he's taking notes of this. From my friend here. Uh, so look, I pretty much have the gist in here. We're going to have to work on qualifications now. So, you know, I'll request the preliminary documents that we need. Um, how long have you been in business? About 14 years. Uh, 14 years, yeah. Okay. And you're the only owner, right? Yes, but these two associates with me, they're my lackeys. They're my lackeys. So they're they're involved with the business. But I own them all. I'm okay. the I'm the I'm the big I'm the big kahuna. I'm the big silver chimp on the block. You know what I'm saying? Uh -oh. I'm the old okay. chimp on the block. You're the decision maker. I'm the oh, decider, well. yes, oh. indeed. But no, that doesn't don't take anything away from these two guys that are with me here. They're, they're great guys. They're 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 definitely they're cool. I don't want to say anything negative because they're recording this conversation and sending it up to Nancy Pelosi. So I gotta be. You can play. You can type faster than I can play guitar. This is pretty good. Let's have a battle. All right, you type and I'll play. Here we go. 
Uh, Type this. Mary had a little lamb. She had fleet as white as snow. Say Nancy Pelosi is full of blow. Type that. Here we go. Oh, I won. I think. I think I won. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, so anyways, uh, yes, indeed. All right, so um, so do you think we can make this happen? I just need to get you some bank statements, is all right. Just some bank statements to prove my worth. Yeah, bank statements and the application. Oh, the application. Uh, I knew there was a catch to this. I knew there was a catch to this. I gotta, I gotta share some of my personal details. Dang it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I imagine you're probably going to want my mother's maiden name. You're probably going to want my uh, favorite death metal band, all that kind of stuff, right? <laughs> no, there's a few things we need, though, for sure. Yeah, uh, I understand. This is to work on some pre-approved options. Right. Uh, you know, you take a look at what the cash flow looks like now, what kind of expense, you know, very basic stuff. And then we work on clearing the options from there. It's pretty simple. Right, right. That um, makes sense. That made, makes total sense. Silver strings. Yeah, Silver Strings LTD 47 at CompuServe.net. That's correct. Yes, indeed. Uh, so he's going to be, you know, hey, Anthony, Merry Christmas Eve. You just spoke over the phone. Um, do you have any other business entities? I've got several other. I have a, I do some business in Ukraine. I have a company called um, um, Burisma. And uh, yeah, I like to hang around over there from time to time. Yeah, pretty cool. Earn about fifty grand a month, and uh, you know, yeah. it's good. My dad got me that gig with no experience. Yeah, and no yeah, I got no experience. What's that? Walmart. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, do you have Do you have any people who have signed contracts with you to buy these strings ahead of time? Maybe a pre-purchase agreement, something like that. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I I don't think it'll take much for me to get uh, pre-purchase agreements from either First Majestic or some other mining company out there. Uh, more than likely, okay. I I know a guy in New Mexico that might help me too. His name's Donald, not the Donald you think. This guy's in New Mexico. He's he's got the hook up with a ton of silver. I also know this tricky guy. This guy's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. He can help me get some silver. Uh, and uh, there's also um, another guy who is kind of runs on the radar. He's is Doctor Who. You know, when you're asking who he is, Doctor Who. You know, that's that's who I'm talking about there. I got another guy that owns a Glock, and uh, he can help me out. I think. Uh, and uh, I know a guy that's a stacker, but he's not a slacker who could potentially help me out and get some silver. A lot of, a lot of different sources. We've got oh, all the little different okay, things. Yeah. Uh, one more thing. I don't, I don't think we cleared this up. What type of property do you own? Like real estate, you know, residential, commercial? Well, yeah. it's, 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 here's the more important thing. I can get even better than that. The soil's a little bit rocky. It's got some alum in it. He's got it potentially, but no, there's no silver on my land, though. I have to go to other land to get the silver. If you want to know what kind of, you know, there's no creeks or anything running. We can probably do a little bit of, of gold pick in there if you want, but there's no silver on my land if that's what you're getting at. But it's got some pretty, it's got semi-rocky soil. The bedrock's there. It's pretty flat. Uh, I, can, uh, I, can I can send you a topo can, map of it. I can send you a top, topo. Oh, yeah, yes. I can yes. lend you money ba uh, based on the equity of the land. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, the equity. It's very equitable. Yes. Okay. Um. So, is it your house? Your, your personal mailing address? Oh, I thought you were just asking about that. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. My house. Uh, I'll put everything up for collateral. I'll put... I'll put I'll put my whole neighborhood up for collateral if I need to. I'm the owner of my uh, homeowners association, so I've got control of all the property from my block. So we'll just use that for collateral. It's all good. I know you, you have to have title or at least be the Oh, don't give it to me. Don't let me borrow it for collateral. They, they're a bunch of good guys and gals that live on my street. They're all good. Yeah, no worries there. All right, so do you have a recent appraisal or a tax assessment? Oh, yes, you do. I can send you all that stuff. I'll get the tax. I'll talk to the real estate department tomorrow. And I'll, have the, I'll have my girl fax them over to you tomorrow. All the assessments okay. of all the properties. It's a... It's a 20 lot subdivision that I that I'm a head of the homeowners owners association and get all their titles and deeds and everything like that. And um, 
one lady, she can type uh, like 70 words per minute too. So if you need somebody to, you know. I love that. I love that sound. Ooh, that's good. That was a little rough at the end there. That was that was like a frustration end of the typing there. Okay, what else we got? Since we talked about your collateral, please include any recent appraisals or tax assessments. Yeah. Mortgage statement. Twenty lots subdivision. I can get you twenty lots of uh, of um yeah. Get all that stuff. Okay, together. do you have? Okay, as long as you have an appraisal for it. Or yeah. That's you know that's that's great. I can get them all. I can get that stuff to you tomorrow. I'll get it to you tomorrow. Yep. Okay, can you text me your email address right now to make sure I got it right? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, it's um, silver. What did I say earlier? Silver, silver string forty seven. Silver string four seven. You, you said silver strings LTD. Right? Yeah, silver string LTD forty seven at CompuServe dot net. That's right. That's right. The old eggnog must get me okay. to get me to it. All right, I just shot the email over. Oh, don't shoot it! Don't shoot it! That's violent. Don't shoot that. It, it, you send it. You sent it. You send it. You got to use the correct language here. I'm a snowflake. It's, the inter, it's in the interwebs. It's in the interwebs. Okay, very good. All right. Are you in front of the computer? No, I'm in front of my guitar. Listen to this. Here we go. Let's see here. You recognize this? Ukraine. What's that? Is he in the Ukraine? Yeah, this is this is this is a song called Cat Scratch Ukraine. Cat Scratch Ukraine. Mate, it's played by the, the guy who should be the uh, the uh, the governor of uh, Michigan, Uncle Ted Nugent. Okay, can this dude help us find the emails? Is he still in politics or is he like doing some other shit? No, he wants to know if you can help us find some emails in a server in Ukraine, probably in a bathroom somewhere. And can you find about 33,000 emails for us in exchange to help? Can that be another thing part of this? That would be nice if you can find 33,000 oh, emails. I, I think they must have bleached bit it. Oh, they did. They bleached bit the sons of biscuits. That's what happened. She smashed her devices yeah. and threw them away. That's right, exactly. Oh yeah, my goodness! Yeah, they used some hammers. Oh, yeah, man. it was in their basement and it got flooded. You know? Yeah. It happens. It does. It sure does. All right. Well, well, um, Andre. Hey, I appreciate it. I'm gonna have my machine call your machine later, and we'll get you those uh, those appraisals tomorrow, and uh, and we'll have my girl yeah. fax them over to you. That's great. Now I'm gonna go try to find this lady who can type uh, 70 words per minute for me. All right, that'll help us out. Uh, try not to fax it. Try to email them. Is fax, fax no good? Is fax no good? I mean, you can fax it, but it's, uh, it's a pain in the ass. Well, yeah, but okay. The office where handles all the fax stuff, and right, okay. Uh, sometimes we run into issues. We're right. missing pages. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I hear that. I hear that. All right. Uh, so yeah. Sounds good. All right, Andre. All right. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. All right, Merry Christmas. Take a squeezy. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. All right, take care, buddy. All right. Bye bye. 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 You know, here's the, the odd thing. You know, he knew about bleach bit and about the <laughs> and all that stuff, yet, yay though, he actually believes that um, I'm going to go through with this thing and fax them on tomorrow or email them tomorrow. It's crazy. I, that's... Yeah. What? What? You're not going to? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, they put this away. But we did it. We called him, and he was there. He was ready. He was ready for that call. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, he hung in there for a while, boy. He hung in there. It was pretty good. Now, I don't know. We might try another one here later. But, hey, we got the news unit here. The snooze unit is here. News unit. He's still not figured out. You know, what I'm using right now, news unit. Here, news unit. Let me give him a link to join this. News unit, come in here. I'll show you. I'll explain this to you here. I'm, this is a service we're providing to Dave, the news unit. And while he uh, clicks on this link to pop in here, uh, let me give you uh, my disclaimer. I've not done this in a while, but it should, it's worth repeating. 
because we all have to understand that this, that the following is an information bulletin here and the proceeding as well on the YouTube video network. Remember that the information that is presented here is necessarily that of myself and anyone else that participates. This is for educational and entertainment purposes partially. And I can confirm and I can also deny the accuracy of any of this. That's right. That's right. So I just want to make that clear. That covers me legally. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Eagle Claw Bullion says, because of your videos, I've now gotten into other coins other than stacking, having a blast now looking and learning. Well, thank you, Eagle Claw Bullion. There is that uh, uh, there is that fun of collecting that I think is eventually rubs off on the hardcore stacker. They find coins that they love and enjoy. So congratulations, Eagle Claw. That's wonderful. I'm glad. And I appreciate you watching. The news unit is here. Let's add them to the stream. All right, news unit. Hello, we're in dark mode for the news unit here. How you doing, my friend? Yeah, let me make sure we don't have any audio feedback here. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything sounds good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, right. good. All right, Merry Christmas. Uh, are you ready for Christmas? I am ready. Yes, indeed. Merry Christmas to you. Because Christmas, of course, is the most wonderful time, time of the year. year. That's right. He was singing that earlier tonight, and he did a great job. Dave's got a good, booming radio voice, he, and he does. We tried to get uh, Talking Bullion to sing for us earlier, but... Do you have any chestnuts roasting on the open fire or Jack Frost nipping at your nose? I don't, but I wish I had a chest to rest my head on. But anyways... I do quiet carols being sung by the choir. Are they? Yes, that would be nice. Are folks, dressed up like, are folks dressed up like Eskimos and... Uh, Anne Arundel County or wherever you're located there? I think so. You know, I, I'm dreaming of a silver Christmas too, you know. It's uh it's part of the part of the whole thing. Gotta have some turkey and some mistletoe now to help to make the season bright. Yes, indeed. Yes, that's what we need to do. Mistletoe. And the tiny tots with their eyes all aglow will find Let it hard to sleep tonight. They know that Santa or Satan's on his way if you move the end to the end. It's That's Satan. true. Right, right, right. <laughs> He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh. Ooh, yeah. And every mother's child is going to spy to see if reindeer really know how to fly. You know, there's a story behind that. I was a little kid one time. Oh, yeah. Really? Hey, by the yeah. way, bye-bye, Slacker. You didn't, you didn't know that, did you? I was one time. I believe it or not, and, breaking news. We had a Christmas family get together, and my and I ran outside. It was snowing, and it was only about three inches of snow on the ground. This was in Milwaukee when I was little. And, and, and my, they all looked at me. The whole family was there. It was like 15, 20 people there. They said, where's Dave going? Where'd you go, Dave? I said, I went outside to see if there was reindeer on the roof. And they said, well, did you see him? And I, I looked around, and I looked back at them, and I looked. And it took me about 10 seconds to think about it. And I said, yeah. And they all laughed. I don't hear the laughter. No, I'm just saying. Did you get the story? Oh no, no, no! Say that one more time. I was I was engulfed in tricky guys' comment here about what. Okay, happened. I was a little kid in Milwaukee. Three inches of snow. Big, you know, one of the Christmas parties at our house. It was Christmas Eve, and uh, I ran outside because uh, they had us. They had one of the uncles playing Santa Claus or something, and I ran outside and they said, "Where's Dave going?" I said, "Well, I went. I came back and I went out to see if there was any reindeer on the roof." And they said, well, did you see the rain there? And I said, I thought for just a few seconds, I said, yeah. Yeah. And then they all laughed. And they all laughed because you were had in your mind that they were going to be there, but they weren't. So you had. Well, I just said, yeah, in such a way, you know. It's like a, like a question, like, you know, you're, yeah, like, yeah. you're questioning your own sanity about the reindeer. I, yeah, know. exactly. Yes, indeed. It's kind of like, uh, yes. And so, yeah, I, I hear you. It's crazy. There's, there's a Christmas story for you. Tonight. That's a Christmas story. That's That will be forever and strong in this live stream. Exactly. Yes, indeed. All right. Very good. Well, what I'm using here, Dave, is called StreamYard. It's even easier to use uh, than that light stream. Really? It's more consistent. I've actually able, was able to keep connection. I need to get a new computer um, because I've been kind of working connectivity. It's called StreamYard. The only problem is, is that little icon you see in the upper right-hand corner. That stays with it. You have to um, put up with that, which I hate those little icons. So, oh, really? unless you pay for it, but I think it's worth it it's all right. for the use. It's easy to use. You can invite guests and uh, oh. they're easy to manage. I can get all in gold on there. He can be my sidekick. Exactly. He can be your sidekick. Because, you know, I never, nothing works right on the news anymore unless you have all in gold or Richard from Vegas. Exactly. I don't, I'm no, I don't know Richard as much, but I know Alan. But yeah. he has to be. AC, Merry Christmas. Hello. 
I see we've got some good folks in the side chat here. See, I'm like the news unit. I'm constantly monitoring the side chat too. Yeah, we well, you have to be monitor. You have to monitor the situation with great interest. That's right. And then, by the way, in StreamYard, it'll put the chat right here inside the same window, which is kind of nice too. Mm -hmm. But I'm probably going to go back to my former. Uh, once I get a new computer, I'm going to probably go back to OBS. OBS is another platform <laughs> or Streamlabs OBS, and you can customize a lot of stuff. I'm not done a lot. Really? But, uh, but you yeah. can still do you, you can still screen capture with uh, with this one, huh? Yeah, you yeah, know? you can screen capture with this and OBS, but the OBS doesn't allow you to have guests. Can no. you like just screen capture one particular segment of your browser and not let it see the other ones, or how's that? Um, happen? I don't think so. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, you can actually, you can. I've never messed with that feature, but you can like mm -hmm. you can, like do a window or something. Yeah, I believe hmm. you can. So that's okay. good. Yeah. So anyway, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, sir. Yes, indeed. I get the warm. I I really get the warm fuzzies, and the I I feel like it's sparkly at this time of year, don't you? Yeah. Oh yeah, it sure does. And there's this little crisp air out there, yep. even if it's not snowing. You know, there's just that time of the year. You know, and uh, yeah, we it's enjoy. A what's, wonderful time. What's hillbilly doing this Christmas Eve? Well, let's give hillbilly a call. Let's see what he's doing. It's it, it's almost time for impeachment. Impeachments, impeach miss 2.0. That's right. It's impeachment 2.0. That's right. Hey, uh, news unit, try to get him not to swear, okay? Of course. We can always work on that. We always try to do that. Yeah. All right. Very good. You know how that works. Here at impeachment to impeach miss 2.0. You might have to say a couple things, though. The, the usual, you know, he don't give a you know what. Right. And all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Hey, Merry Christmas. Thank you, Jim. Atari. Appreciate the Merry Christmas to you. Nice price over today. Price Smith. There you go. Bill Billy. Yeah. We're on the Salivate Metal channel, and he wanted they wanted to say Merry Christmas to you. Yeah, I'll be coming over. You're coming? Yeah, well, just for a moment here, say Merry Christmas to the gang on Salivate Metal. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas Bill Billy. So what are you going to do now, Hillbilly? I don't know. Want to go to the casino? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go, Hillbilly, we're going to go, we're going to go hell raising, right, Hillbilly? Yeah. All I should have right. got, got you a Santa gimp suit. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't know. You get more, you get all the girls tonight. Hey, no. anyway, Eric, glad to hear, my friend. All right. Take care, high speed. Yeah. Is that all you got to say, Hillbilly? All right. Go fuck yourself. See? <laughs> we had a, we he had a said slip. that with the most of... Um, we had a slip uh, head in. All right, Hillbilly. See you soon. Yeah. Sing us a Christmas song, uh, Hillbilly. Huh? Sing a Christmas song for us real quick. I can't sing. Just sing anything. Jingle bell. <laughs> you fuck me zero or fuck me all night. Fuck all night, three o'clock. See, Santa Claus, something. Okay. Santa Claus, yeah, I heard well, Santa Thank Claus. you very much for that fine number. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Christmas Hillbilly. And glad he, said he just gave you a kiss. All right, thank you. All right. All right, Hillbilly. See you soon. Nice. Thank you. There you go. There you go. There was your, there was your blessings, your holiday blessing from Hillbilly tonight. All right. <laughs> Very nice. All I'm right. Glad I could comply with that. So Thank you. Yes, indeed. You can have him at a, at a moment's notice. You can get Hillbilly right there. He's at the tip of your fingers. You just dial yep. him. There he is. Nice. Yep. I wish uh, Alan Gold was at uh, easily. Um, uh, reach he was in my room a little while ago. Didn't he say Merry Christmas to you today? I think he fell asleep. And did he come over here or no? No, he never came over here. He doesn't care. Oh, about he, just, he just went to bed then. Man, that son of a biscuit. I tell he you. just nestled down for his long winter's nap. All right, exactly. Yeah. With yeah, visions of sugar plums dancing in his head. Yeah, exactly. No, so he's visions of uh, silver uh, salivate metal coins dancing in his head. Ah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You should get Do him. You have Alan Gold on speed silver dial? coins, silver coins. It's Christmas time with salivate metal ringling. Do you have a round ring? Soon you will want to buy more. <laughs> keep stacking, keep stacking. It's the holiday style. And then when you're done, just get more. Keep on stacking, keep on stacking. SHTF will come, and then you'll be ready. <laughs> 
some more. Yeah, there you go. I had to get you in on it. There you go. Thank you. You have uh, Alan Gold on the speed dial. Silver Wolverine wants to know. Uh, no, sorry, I don't. Man. He's real felt about who he is, you know? He's real private. Yeah. I know. I theorized that Alan Gold is a family man. He's got two kids. He's he's uh, he's well to look, relatively in the upper middle class living out there in California. He's, uh, you know, when he's outside of the world of YouTube, being a troll, he's really a, probably a genuinely nice guy, probably, is my guess. Yeah. You need to come up with a song. Silver Rounds. Silver, Silver rounds. rounds. We're going to make them until they are abound. Eric is here. Eric is here. Them ring. The bouncer for the whole year. That's Eric, our resident bouncer. He's the first... The one to wield the wrench here. His name is Eric. In your monster box. Mm hmm. In a monster box. Somebody here talked about buying a monster box and it made a couple hundred bucks on it already. Come on, Alan. Get my, uh, get somewhere. Are you here? Where are you, Alan? Mark Alan's B was saying hi to Alan Goldie, but he's not here. But uh, yeah. yeah. He's hiding somewhere. He's hiding, hiding. Maybe he's spending time with, he's probably at a Christmas Eve service. You know what I mean? Several whistles. Yeah. So Maybe he went to Calvary Chapel over there or something like probably that. Probably did. He probably did. Yes, indeed. Never know. All right. Your resident. Well, cartoonist. it was very nice to meet. Uh, say hi to you guys tonight. I'm going to go back in the news. I'm actually simulcasting. So. Oh, simulcasting. Very good. All right. Yeah, well, simulcasting. You, you going to give me a copyright violation? For oh, this no, no, no copyright. Not violation. on Christmas. You wouldn't do that. No, <laughs> no way. No. no I'm going to get one for some auto hold music we had earlier, but it's okay. You'll find it. Right. Don't, don't flag me. I'm already on the shit list. You know how that is. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I That's got cool. stolen my stocking from Susan Wojcicki already, so. Oh man, great! Nothing I can do about it. YouTube's always after the news unit, and so is the FBI now and then. Yeah, exactly, man. And what a what a crazy time. Well, hey, yeah. we need to do some sun gazing when the springtime comes. We need Dave out there, uh, beached out, uh, looking up at the <laughs> stars and the sun and uh, sun gazing uh, with Barn on one one nine seven zero. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Yes. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I wonder what ever happened to that guy. Is he still well, around? He probably lost his eyesight by now. I don't know. Right. <laughs> now, and then we got the silver gold man. We are still waiting to hear uh, exactly. what the silver gold man is going to do. You know what? Since you're such a good vocalist, um, Drain the Swamp has made a request here. Just a second. Before you go, let me pull it out. That's what she said. Um, now, I was on your channel when you weren't there, and Tacos sang a song for me. So, uh, let's do the same chords we did for tacos, and let's see if you can do better. I think you can. Here we go. What was it about? Oh, I don't know. He made this up of own, own lyrics. I'm not sure exactly. He said something about something. Amanda's Dash or something? Probably. Who knows? <laughs> we got to get tacos in here. Happy Hanukkah, Oy vey a smear. I talked to my rabbi, I said Merry Christmas. He said, Oy vey a smear. It's not Christmas, it's Hanukkah. Light from menorah, get your mind right. Yeah, all right, that was good. We ended on a, on a G note. There you go. Nice. That was pretty good. You probably couldn't hear the guitar enough to really be able to no, see. That was it. perfect. But a good That's job. Good. All right. Yes, indeed. Right. Right. Buy the menorah and buy some silver. There you go. Exactly. Oh, right. I, better, I, better, I don't want to steal the show now, so you better kick me out of here. Are you going to kick me out? No. If, if Mark B was here, he could play bass with us. We are losing viewers by the uh, by the. Yeah, see, I'm afraid of that. I better get out of here. Yeah, no, that's it's all right. Time to go. I'm going to go up to Chimney with care. Okay, all right. Take care, News Unit. All right, man. Good to see you. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Yeah, I'm going to get out of here, too. Who is it? Talking Boy, and I'm going to call out of here, boy. too. I've got some things to do. Okay, thank you, Talking Boy, and I appreciate you being here, my friend. Have a very Merry Christmas to you and Mrs. Talking Boy. And and you have everybody. a very Merry Christmas as well, and everybody in the chat, Merry Christmas. We'll talk Thanks. to you soon. Take care. All right. See you, see you later. All right. So that's just you and me, Silver Wolverine. It's a cold night out here. Oh, I'm sure. 
What's the temperature there in Fahrenheit? Uh, 25. Wow, that is pretty chilling. Pretty chilling. All right, very good. Yes, indeed. All right. Well, let's see here. All right, now, Silver Wolverine, are you by a computer or are you uh, by any chance? Am I by a computer? No. Okay, all right. Well, I'm going to read some... Read this comment from Lev Chris Coins. He says he enjoyed watching this video on Christmas Eve here. Merry Christmas on my Christmas Eve silver surge. You know, it was pretty, kind of wild to see the, the price of surge on this Christmas Eve. In fact, we'll look at prices here, and uh, they're up. You know, it's crazy. Silver is uh, $17.85. Gold is $1,500 bucks and 60 cents, and platinum is up, too. $947 in palladium is up seven bucks to $18.88. Wow. And yeah. rhodium is almost six grand. It's insane. It's insane. Yeah, I mean, if silver got to, say, $20, I might consider selling a portion and then waiting for gold price to drop and putting a little bit into gold. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's a good move. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, I'm going to be posting a video pretty soon about how my strategy may shift a bit in the coming year. Uh, but, yeah, that's cool. That's a good, good idea, Silver Wolverine. Yeah, you bought that one-ounce gold buffalo. That was a cool video. You bought that thing You like, um, and enjoy that piece of gold. I think that's a wonderful uh, yeah. gift. Yes, indeed. Yeah, and, and when I bought that, I thought the price of gold was high. Uh, but I bought that back. I think gold spot was just at fourteen hundred. Wow! Or actually, it might have been a little bit under fourteen hundred, if I remember. Right, right. Yeah, that's crazy. Now look where it is: fifteen hundred dollars, yeah. up hundred dollars. Ah, very good. Let's see here. And this guy, and from earlier today. Um, this guy, Scott's Gun Channel 1, says silver is 1776. How patriotic. So at the time he saw it, it was 1776. And right now, it's up to 1785. So it's gone up even more. That's pretty, pretty wild to see that jump. Uh, silver market is closed. I was hoping it would stay open a while. We'll come along and crash Comex shorts, says Silversmith. Yeah, I know. Let's see if the Asian market's... Yeah, the Asian markets are closed too. So everything is closed down. What's going on? I guess it's because it's Christmas. Is that right? Is that is it, would that be a uh, proper assessment, Silver Wolverine? You think? Say over time, I missed that. I say I guess the markets are closed because it's a uh, it's it's Christmas. So we're getting close to Christmas. Yeah, yeah. I think the markets closed. Well, I think the stock market closed around two o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, what does Sal give his cats for Christmas? Tricky guy wants to know. Silver bells on their collars. Natch also some goth leather outfits with lots of zippers. Hmm. Oh, good guesses as you're very close. Kinky, tricky. Yes, indeed. That is a little bit too weird even for me. That would be a little bit strange even for me. Yes, indeed. Man, that guy, that scammer we called earlier, he was a typing fool. Let's see. He was like, can y'all hear that? Yeah. That's about all I can type that fast is something like that. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Same in the membrane. So big plans up for you, uh, Silver Wolverine, for tomorrow for Christmas Day. You're working 12 hours. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 12-hour shift. So your family's got to celebrate a different day. And I, I think it's going to be a 10-day a ten stretch, too. Wow. Good grievances. Man. Yep. Yep. I, uh, I, ha I have a problem. I have to admit, I have a problem with um, wanting to make money. So um, yeah. I, I have a hard time saying no to uh, working. Uh. I'm responding to full name here. I could have just, I was aware. Actually, Alan Gold made me aware of it. Believe it or not, Alan Gold's first email was "Merry" or was uh, not "Merry Christmas," but "You're welcome, you jerk." And he sent me a link to that. They'll probably be posting a video about the Germans are lining up outside of gold shops trying to buy before they're tracked. 
other purchases will need to be uh, tracked. Gold purchases, and I think uh, cash too. They can't get cash without being tracked. It's insane in the membrane. Oh, wow. So, uh, yeah, get your gold while you can if you're in Germany. But I'll post something. I'm not going to do that. I just learned about it just now before Alan Gold sent me that email. Well, I mean, I mean, everything that we buy online, if you think about it, it's all tracked too. Well, yeah, that's true. Really, if, if, if anybody really wanted to know, they'll know everything that you have. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. Yep. Very, very true. Now let's even stuff, even stuff that I buy like through Atmex or that off eBay. If I log into my Atmex account, I believe I see all my eBay purchases on there as well. Right, right. They sure will. That's right. Now, this guy, Dan Gillespie, wants to know what the percentage of people who stack silver, probably less than 1% in America. That's, that stack silver? Oh, yeah. oh in, in the entire population. Yeah, of oh, America, yeah. Of, U, of the U.S. probably, or yeah. North America. Yeah, that, that's probably right. Yeah, we can hear you better, Silver Wolverine. When everybody else is in here, you weren't coming through as well. And I don't have a mixer here. I don't have a mixer that tells me. Let me see. That I see. Yeah, they don't have a mixer in this thing where I can pump you up. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah right. there's not there, there's not one person that I know who uh, knows really what silver is. Right, right, exactly. El Porno. Well, thank you so much. From the future, he comes. It's, it's late Christmas day there. And uh, he says, salutations. Remember the reason for the season. That's right. All the best, my friend. Thank you so much. You're exactly right. Um, very well said. I'll have a video on that very topic tomorrow. Thank you, El Porno. I appreciate it very much. Very kind of you, sir. You're right. Exactly. Thank you so much. Very kind of you indeed. Um, and uh, can't be stated enough. Uh, Van Wood was re-watching an old cartoon from my childhood, and one of the characters references uh, putting a double eagle in a necklace for Betty Boop. Wow. Interesting, Van. Yeah. Surprised you knew who Betty Boop was at your age. That's wild. Hmm. Very cool. Yes, indeed. And by the way, speaking of El Porno's uh, comment there, the reason for the season um, I, there is a city in New Zealand called Christchurch. They actually experienced a pretty devastating earthquake uh, not too long ago. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool name for a city, is it not? Drain the swamp. I wish I could tell you the story about cashing a bonus check. The bank, they tried everything not to cash it. Something is going down. I think it's the banks hold on to your silver. Oh, interesting. Wow. If that's a place you bank, why they would not, why they wouldn't, why would they not want to cash your check, uh, a bonus check? Maybe they're running short on cash for that time. You know, something could be, and it might be have some of the repurchase agreements too. Buffalo Bullion is here. Good to see you. Let's see what this other comment says. Dan also says, President is not impeached until the House sends the articles to the Senate, and the Senate has a... I don't know why people get that wrong. No, wrong. The President is impeached Yeah. the House... Passes it. Doesn't matter what the Senate does, even if it doesn't. He is not impeached. Impeachment. There's a lot of people getting a lot of misinformation out there. But Silver Wolverine will back me up on this. It's unfortunately it's happened. Um, the Senate will probably throw it out, or I mean, or they will acquit him. But it is forever. Unfortunately, it's forever on on his record. Now, all that is it's a badge of courage at this point um, for for the president. But they see it as a stain, but it's like an indictment. You know, just because someone's indicted doesn't mean they're going to jail. It doesn't even mean that a trial necessarily will will happen. Um, but yeah. All right. But yeah, anyway. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Thanks, and, uh, and 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 at the end, they're looking to do it again based on Don McGann's testimony if he ever testifies. I don't right. know if he will. And that's just it. They can impeach him multiple times and they, they'll try. Believe you me, yep. they're not going to let the man, they're not going to give the man a break until the day he dies, much less to the last day he's in, in the Oval Office. They're going to dog him to the day he dies. And that's unfortunate. It really is. Yep. 
And, and it's a, it's a, it's a shame because, you know, you know, and, and, you know, and I know that I have a lot of viewers here who feel differently about the president and, uh, and that's fine. I, I welcome all points of view here, but I try to be intellectually honest. And, um, you know, though I do actually kind of like when the president goes after the media because of how, how much they have just completely been, um, against conservatives long before Trump was in office, but um, how unfair they are. But, but you know, you know, and, and 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 he's very fair. I mean, as much as he talks, uh, you know, about the fake news and all of that, he talks to the press more than any other president has ever talked to the press. That's right. He sure does. He sure has. And 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 I was going to say, even though I think most of us can agree that he's not presidential, he's even admitted himself that he's not presidential. And he can be crass. He can be rude at times. There's some things that he tweets about that I there's very few, but there's some things that he tweets about that I think he shouldn't go on about or attack. But there's other times when he tweets and it's the only place he, he can go to get his message out. But notwithstanding, he has actually done more uh, to advance, um, in my view, the private sector and the people of America than any president since Reagan, maybe even since before Reagan. Um, and, and I think that is something when people are empowered instead of government, I think that's a good thing. And I would rather have a president. I would rather have a president who is maybe, um, you know, a bit rude or crass or even as Buffalo Bullion says, embarrassing at times. I'd rather have, have a president like that who's a straight talker and is doing good for, for America than some suit up there who is a slick talker, very careful with his words while behind the scenes destroying the country. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I mean, I mean, a lot of times that, you know, they call him a liar, you know, but I think he's talking, I mean, he, he's speaking the truth as he sees it, you know, he's not lying. Um, I, I think, you know, I mean, a lot, all politicians lie. Yeah. Um, but. Well, uh, Trump as, as a, Actually, I think somebody who said this the best would be Tucker Carlson, who I don't think T Tucker is really necessarily always the most articulate for the conservative message. But I think he said it best that Trump is a salesman. Um, and, uh, and and I think there's uh, something about, you know, he's going to sell something. He may even oversell something. But by and large, I think he's doing really good. But anyways, there's enough about that. I just wanted to kind of uh, say that piece out there. He did a pretty did a pretty good Christmas message this year. But anyways. Um, uh, so, oh, El Porno has this cool thing. He says, anyone see the new kangaroo that Dawn Silver Proof? Sort of a new coin off the final run of kangaroo at sunset by the Royal Australian Mint. Oh, that's cool. Um, I've not seen this, but El Porno, you made uh, a mention of that and made me think of another series that the Perth Mint is putting out. And that is um, uh, another series of coins with animals at, uh, at night. And there is... Um, um, there's, I forget what it's called, but I think there are animals. One is a platypus, and I think it's a Perth mint that's coming out with these. And, uh, but yeah. So, uh, but yeah, that, so, but these, uh, these ones at sunset, the, uh, the kangaroos at sunset, this is a new one that's come out for 2020. That'd be cool to see. I like those kangaroos at sunset. Sure. They're kind of minimalistic type things. Adrian FC82. Good to see you, and Merry Christmas to you, Avengers. Um, he's here from New Zealand, and so is your colleague, El Porno. He's also from uh, New Zealand. Good to see you guys. All right. We got a good folks. All right. Queen's Beasts are awesome, says Don Enforcer. Yes, the Queen's Beast. I think that's a great series. I like the Queen's Beast series. I think they're great. Only a couple more left. Well, there's two left, I think, right? It'll be complete. All right. Bart Simpson says his channel was boring. He repeat the same thing. He would just change the title of his video. Actually, yeah, there was, we got a good point. There were some, I saw some videos on his channel that were actually had the same exact title within a couple of weeks. Um, but Hey, that was up to him. That was at his, you know, but I still don't think he should have been hacked. Silver Sing Blade says cusp. I don't know what that means. It's a, Strange cusp. So I just put a number seven there. Nathaniel Lee, Merry Christmas to you, Nathaniel Lee. Good to see you. 
All right. And we've got Mark B says, Uncle Sal, have a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thanks for always being nice to me. It means a lot. Well, thank you, Mark B. I'm honored to have you as a viewer. Your viewer, viewer. You're great. And I appreciate you so much. Eric says, Merry Christmas. I'm off to watch a Christmas movie with the wife. Well, awesome. Tell the wife I said hello, Eric. Sabina, right? Tell Sabina I said hello and Merry Christmas to you. And thank you so much, my friend. Appreciate you being here. Eric, everybody, check him out on YouTube. Good guy. And enjoy the movie with your wife. And let's give my love to Ben, too. Yes, indeed. I'm going to have a beer after this, if it's okay with Silver Wolverine. Do I have Silver Wolverine's permission to drink a beer after I'm done with this live stream? Oh, for sure. Yes. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. What kind? What kind? Um, I, there's this one, I've got this, uh, kind of a darker beer. I forget the name of it. Dang it. Um, but I have a bloom, a couple of blue moons. I think I have a yingling in there. They were gifts. I've got them, uh, I've, that I've gotten a couple places. Yeah. What kind of beer do you like? Uh, are you going to slurp it? Oh yeah. I'll probably slurp it, but I'll probably do it after this. Uh, it'll be in a bottle. So it'll be kind of uh, tough to do it. Oh, Silversmith is having a rolling rock now. Nice. Very cool. A two heart says Sterling Cannabis. Uh, what is the other one? I said, I have to run out to the kitchen to see the label. Something monkey. Oh, that's it. It's a bark. <laughs> yeah. Is that dog barking at the moon? <laughs> yep. <laughs> that was a pretty cool bark. Now, I've got to ask this Is the dog's bark worse than his bite? The bite is worse. Oh, the bite is worse than the bite is worse. All right. <laughs> Paul Dyke. Paul Dyke. Merry Christmas to you. Have a silver new year. I don't know why I keep on forgetting. Is it Dyche or Dyke? I think it's Dyche. I think the CH is a ch ch ch. B Buffalo Bullion just poured me a Jameson. Is that a liquor or is that a uh, is that a beer? I've never heard of it. Polar South says Bob often. And Silversmith's having a shot of fireball. Mark B is having a high neck and long neck. Ooh, there you go. You know what? I'm almost tempted to go uh, find the name of this beer. If you'll, if you'll permit me, permit me, I will be right back. Uh, let me see here if I can find a way to mute myself. Yeah, I'll be right back. I'll tell you what this name is. I'll, I'll be right. Count me down. Tell me how many seconds I'm gone. Here we go. Ready? Three, two. I'm back. I've actually been back for quite a while. I just uh, wanted to let the clock run out. No, it's okay. <laughs> so watch ale, I think. is So watch is very hard to hear. Chaos something brewing. Never heard of it. Is uh, Somebody gave mm. it to me. Gift. Yes, indeed. All right. So Yeah, I'm, I'm not much of a beer drinker. I like sipping on some, uh, maybe, maybe some uh, Apple Crown Royal or something like that every now and then. Oh, that then. sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh sometimes it's dangerous because it's it's uh it, it kind of tastes like uh fruit juice. Ah, yes. Kind of mask the alcohol in there and everything. Yeah. All right, Michael M is asking for a Christmas slurp. So here we go. Here's a Christmas slurp for Michael M. Here we go. Ah. And this is my first uninterrupted live stream without any audio problems for, for quite a while. I don't know what's going on. It's strange. I'm surprised. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty good. I haven't yeah. heard any. Uh, it, it never went out once that, that I could tell. Yeah, that's great. That's great. I don't know. Still need a new computer. I'm still going to get that. Martin Bell Gaming. Hello, my friend. Good to see you. Merry Christmas to you, Michael M. 
Yes, indeed. Martin Bell Gaming's here. All right, thank you, Silver Smith. Now, let's see. Let me go through a couple more of these comments real quick. Merry Christmas to all, all Salivator, says Kalonic Stacker. Thank you so much, my friend. You are the man. And we've got Merry Christmas Salivate, says Arbor Custom Systems. Well, thank you, sir. Arbor Custom Systems, Merry Christmas to you. And uh, Sterling Cannabis is here. By the way, Merry Christmas to you. And everybody, Fortunate Adventurers. All right, he made it. The stories are crazy. Hello, my friend from Fortunate Adventures. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. All right. Buffalo Bullion personally prefers tequila overall. Very good. And Mark B. Yes, indeed. Let's see here. Drain the Swamp Higgins. Native Stacker. Did we just lose Sal? No audio. No, just kidding. Now that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't jinx me here. Exactly. That's right. There you go. Native. He is the man. He's uh, got a really cool gift. For his granddaughter a ring that he had made which was awesome all right very good and let's see santa is now over the west coast of africa says silver smith that means he's well on his way moving moving towards the united states he's gonna make a chimney fall any moment overnight here <laughs> And let's see, let's, we'll do a little bit more here, catch a couple more comments, and then we'll pro probably say good night here. We've been going here for almost two hours now, so we'll catch a couple of these comments here. I baked Santa Claus some, uh, some cookies today. Did you really? Cool. Nice. <laughs> awesome. First, first time I ever made a cookie from scratch. Very cool. Nice. I hope it didn't itch too much. <laughs> Very nice. Congratulations. I bet they're good. Are they chocolate chip? Oh, no. Uh, oatmeal raisin with uh, walnuts. Oh, that's cool. What a combination. Sweet. All right. Now, Daniel Bull Runner Lamb says it's going to be 1865 by January. You know, it very well could be. I wouldn't be surprised if that'd be the case. I think that's a safe assessment. Um, that's good, Daniel Bull Runner Lamb. Cosmic Karma Koala says Merry Christmas to all. Give them kidders an extra perfect snuggle from the koala. I will do. I'm going to do that, Cosmic Karma Koala. Thank you, sir. He's the only KKK member that I like, Cosmic Karma Koala. All right. China Market will be open on Christmas. I don't think so. I thought so, too, Kingpin, but we're going to look at it right now. And we're going to refresh this. And it is daytime over in China. And look, the market is closed. Right there it is. See that? Market is closed, unfortunately. It'd be nice if it was open, but hey, you know, maybe they celebrate Christmas over there in China too. You never could know. Some people might. Yeah, it, it's kind of crazy how the stock market is at like all time high and metals keep climbing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, as I mentioned in a video earlier, I think part of that reason is because you might see more demand uh, for manufacturing and more increased silver demand and, and gold maybe riding the coattails of silver in that case, but also the gold is also used in electronics and stuff too, just not as much. So, yeah. And and if I think if the prices continue to go up, that's going to affect some of these smaller nations that are wanting to uh, acquire gold for their central banks that where the spot price matters more than places like Russia or China. We'll see. We'll see here. And apparently there's going to be a Christmas surprise from Rocket Man tomorrow. Silversmith reminded us of that here in the chat side here. Stephen W. Knocked the price back down from me, JP. All right, JP Morgan, he's saying. I'm, we'll, I'll give him a call here. We'll call him later, see if we can make that happen for you. Stephen W. Jonathan Bales has had his for a month now of this uh, free gold back. Have you seen those gold backs over Wolverine? Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, I actually, after I saw your video, I signed up and uh, I'm going to wait to see if I receive one or not. Cool. All right. Yes, indeed. It's only until supplies last, but I imagine uh, it's been going on for a while. So I imagine they'll probably keep it coming there. So we shall see. Adrian FC82, Silver Surge might be related to last minute consumer Christmas shopping. You know, you would think that, uh, that it could possibly be, but I think that those uh, were baked in. So in other words, any electronics and stuff like that that were made for Christmas silver shopping have already been produced. That demand has already been met. Um, so my guess is it's probably not. But I do think it could be some uh, gets by some of these places that are expecting to see increased economic activity in the coming year. 
So we shall see. Eddie's little stat greetings. He's listening while driving. Thanks, my friend. Be careful out there. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you, Eddie's. All right. Very good. <clears throat> so we've caught up with comments now. And I think we've come to the end of our journey. As Donald in New Mexico says, it's time for the bum rush. That's right. Yes, indeed. But I appreciate you guys. Silver Wolverine, thanks so much for joining me here tonight. And um, be careful and don't work too hard out there for the next 10 days. 12-hour shifts. That's nuts. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna try. Hopefully, I, I can catch up on some YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah, no, hey, I understand if you can't in the in the interim. Uh, but yeah, well, very cool. Well, thanks, yeah. guys. Appreciate you all being here. Have a wonderful and very blessed Merry Christmas uh, and Happy New Year to you guys. And uh, yes, enjoy enjoy time with your family yeah. and all. And for those of you out there listening to this after the fact, and for those of you in here. Uh, it's a time of year where people do get um, can get emotionally depressed at times. You know, it's amazing. It's supposed to be a joyous time of year, but also it can be some people. You know, when you when you've lost loved ones, um, you know, it can be hard. It's tough. So just keep your head, uh, just keep your head up, and um, and say a little prayer. God is always with you, no matter what. So you guys take care, and uh, multitude of gratitude, and Merry Christmas, and have a good night. Take care. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye.